After Sunday's tough loss against the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Baltimore Ravens superstar quarterback Lamar Jackson took to Twitter to respond to a fan in a now-deleted tweet who criticized his performance on Sunday. I'm not going to read the tweet, but I'm going to put it up so that you can pause and read it. Lamar Jackson's response to that tweet generated a whole lot of controversy on NFL Twitter, but it was one reporter that got a lot of people kind of pissed. ESPN Ravens reporter Jamison Hensley published a story late Sunday night recounting the incident in which he claimed Lamar Jackson had used an anti-gay phrase. If you read a tweet, I know it wasn't the best response, but to say he used an anti-gay phrase is completely taken out of context, especially when the man is in his contract year. Things like this can not only affect Lamar Jackson and his free agency, but also dent his reputation. And the fact that, that this reporter didn't delete this article says a lot about ESPN and the things that they are allowed to, that they are allowed to be published. On a well-rounded team, Lamar replied with a profanity-laced tweet that included an anti-gay phrase and has since been deleted. Now, Ravens coach John Harbaugh will speak to reporters at 2.30 p.m. Eastern today and will likely be asked about Jackson's social media. Lamar Jackson had to defend himself against this reporter's article in a tweet saying, and I quote, This is defamation of my character because not once have I ever mentioned or disrespect anyone's sexuality, sexual orientation, gender, religion, or race. Jackson said, you are reaching. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh called his QB's tweet out of character on Monday in a press conference, and he said he's now urging the Baltimore star quarterback to just stay away from Twitter following games. Harbaugh also emphasized that Amar Jackson has the biggest heart and that this incident was just a case of his emotions taking over after being trolled following a loss to the Jaguars. Lamar Jackson, you know, you've been around him. He's got one of the biggest hearts of anybody I know. You, you all have seen him, the way he treats people, the way he treats kids, the way he treats the media, you know, and, uh, and he's also one of the biggest competitors I've ever met. So those kind of conversations, he takes very seriously, you know. So you get trapped sometimes by someone that's baiting you just a little bit, and you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't live there. It's not important. You know, I see you shaking your head, Luke, you're right. And that's, that's something I love about him. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think that's not a place he wants to be, and that's certainly not things that he wants to say. Hopefully this incident don't affect Lamar Jackson and his contract year. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below.